Welcome back. Less than 48 hours now until the polls open for Election Day. But as you can see from some of the doors opening there, live picture from Minnetonka, voting is underway today on this Sunday ahead of Election Day. Some of the added early voting options this weekend ahead of Election Day. Joining us now is Secretary of State Steve Simon uh, to talk about all the things that we should remind ourselves of heading into the final stretch of this election season. Good morning, Secretary Simon. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be with you. Thanks for having me. We know this has turned into basically a, a marathon. Election day is really election deadline for all of the voting days and options that people have had leading into this. Talk to us about the early voting turnout that you are seeing. It, it double the numbers of early voting ballots compared to what we saw back in 2016. Is that still accurate? Yeah, wow. uh, a good bit more than double, exactly. And you're right to call it a deadline because more and more people aren't necessarily voting on election day. Right now, as we speak, we're a good bit over a million people who have already cast their ballots. We'll know more on Monday morning when we get the weekend totals. By the way, reminder that in all 87 counties, right now as we speak, from 9 to 3, you can go in person and, and, and vote in person. Go to our website, mnvotes.gov. That's mnvotes.gov. Find out where that is for you. But yeah, by the end of the weekend, I'm sure we'll be, you know, certainly at 1.1 million, maybe more. It's a lot of voters, more than double what we were eight years ago. The COVID election of four years ago kind of threw the average off because a ton more people, even than now, wanted to vote absentee. They wanted to avoid crowds. But we're, we're, at, we're at a really good rate right now. And a reminder, too, if people are voting today or tomorrow, it night, might not be their same polling location that they would go to on Tuesday. So all the more reason to ch check your website. Are you seeing certain areas of the state more likely to vote early compared to others? We know traditionally it's been a lot of Democrats that turn out early and a lot of Republicans that turn out on Election Day. You know, it's hard to go county by county or area by area, but that seems to be more evening out now. Um, there was a bigger gap between sort of stereotypical party affiliations by area of the state, but that seems to be narrowing, not just to Minnesota and nationwide. I think both parties have come back to this consensus that voting early can be a really good thing for people. It can fit their lives. And so we don't have that division we once did. What are some of the reminders that people need to know as they're going, if they haven't cast their ballot yet? Specifically, I mean, some people might still be holding an absentee yeah. ballot at home. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming got, too late to mail it at this point. Right, please do not mail it. Right, if, you've got, if that thing is sitting on your couch or kitchen table right now, you have a couple options. One is to hand deliver it. Remember, our rule in Minnesota is it's got to get there by 8 p.m. on Tuesday. That's when the polls close. That's our deadline, not a postmark. Some states have that. We don't. It's got to get there by 8 p.m. So you can hand deliver it. You can have with someone you know or trust, a spouse, a neighbor, a friend, whatever, deliver it for you. Or, and this is critical, you can just change your mind and vote in person. You don't have to bring that ballot with you. They will know when you go in there that you'd order an absentee ballot, that you're sitting on one at home, and they will simply cancel it. So you can change your mind. Even if you have that thing sitting on your table, you can go in on game day, on Tuesday. Remember, polls are open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And here's another one that people should know. If you're there by 8 p.m., it's okay. If you're in line by 8 p.m., they'll keep it open past 8 p.m. to accommodate those who are there by 8 p.m. That's critical. And talking about that back end of things, after 8 p.m., when we're waiting for those election results, I appreciate, I know you don't have a crystal ball, but <laughs> there's a lot to talk about. Oh, this is going to, you know, be a, a patient process to actually get right. those results. When do you expect that we will actually know who our next president will be? Well, two-part answer. In Minnesota, our rule is you got to get everything in by Election Day. So within hours, we here in Minnesota will have complete results. There are always some straggler counties, but by the time you're eating breakfast the next morning, you should have all or substantially all of the results in here. But other states have different laws, and I just want to caution viewers. It is a lawful thing. It's not a sign of misconduct or somebody did something wrong. In some states, because they're following their law, they are going to be counting into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And some of them are battleground states like Pennsylvania or Arizona. So don't jump to the conclusion that because they're still counting on Wednesday and Thursday, that means something bad happened. It's the opposite. It's that they are following their state's law, which they have to. So my guess is, I mean, they didn't really call it four years ago. Definitively until Saturday, we could see something like that again. All right. We'll wait and see what happens. Secretary of State Steve Simon, thank you. We appreciate your time.